Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve. I'm here today with Mike. Hi. And Riley. Yo. And John. Howdy. Christy. Pamela. And Britt. Brilliant. How's it going? Dylan. Dylan. Brilliant. Dylan. Brilliant. 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 Chilling. Brilliant. There you go. Oh, God damn it. Oh. So... What are you drinking, Pamela? Lagunitas, little something, extra ale. That's good stuff. I have no it's idea. Thank you, Mike. It's very good. It's Whatever a brown it ale. Is, I'm enjoying it's tasty. it. Little something? That's little cute. something. That's a little Lagunitas. something extra. Good brewer. Ah, I like something their beer, man. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is little something extra. I've had a little something, but not a little something. This was bought out, too. I, yeah. That's what Steve was telling me. Yeah. What? I haven't Lagunitas bought out. Was By who? Bought out. They sold out probably I want, something like Coors. Yeah, I think Odds so. Yeah. Something like that. Ambev. So it's it's unfortunately, since there's very since few these now. Beer companies have been selling out. Like, I'll get their beers and, like, they won't taste as good. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure or are you just imagining? I like that's them the, before the they were cool. Is, I don't right. know yeah. if it's just in my head or if it's in the beer, also. I don't, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> But I don't like it. Maybe it's the <laughs> the love has juju. been eliminated from the beer. Yeah, maybe <laughs> this the love is gone. You know? Now machine. it's just about the dollar. Yeah, and it's they have to water it down so now the average consumer enjoys it. Yeah, well, I ain't no average consumer, I suppose. Before I, I moved here, I drank Bud Light, I drank Corona. Mm -hmm. That was the beer. You right. didn't drink anything different. But you're on the water. Wow. You drink a lot of beer. You need water. <laughs> so you come to California, you're not on the water, you drink heavy beer, you only have a few, that's why, because it's heavy, heavy stuff. Uh, I like the, but then yeah. when you go to craft, you don't go back. No. It's different. No, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no, yeah. Not unless it's, it's a like, taste. There's no other so. option. Maybe. Because yeah. you realize that it was water that tastes like beer? That's yeah. <laughs> beer flavored water. Or water. something else. Beer flavored water. Yeah. I mean, just the fact, like, if you get a Coors Light or a Bud Light and pour it into a glass, like, it's practically clear. Practically I just clear. can't. Just like just those. looking at it, kind of go that. I can yeah. see through. Not sure if it's beer anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so John taught me the coffee test. So you hold the pot up and you can tell how strong your brew is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of like beer, right? Oh yeah. You think yeah. About it? Hold the pot up. Oh, I see. Yeah. Ah, uh, you remember that one that uh, we made once? It was like so thick you couldn't shine a flashlight through it. <laughs> was, was, was that morning wood? No. It was not morning wood. No, that was the. That was the stout. The apocalypse? Your, your stout, right? Your. Uh, oh, I made mean a stout. Yeah. Oatmeal it, or something. I know that's that's morning wood. Oh yeah. No, this was a, this is a, Oatmeal holiday stout? ale. Anniversary ale. That we something like just that? made real. Yeah, yeah, it was it was Doomsday Fail yeah. holiday Doomsday, ale. That's what it was. Anniversary <laughs> ale. Uh, anniversary yeah, ale. Yeah. The end of it. Okay. Yeah, Being that amazing, stuff yeah. was like molasses. It was awesome. It that was, was, it was amazing. pretty amazing. Here. And like 11%. <laughs> anyway. Whatever you do, don't put a lighter to it, you know? <laughs> Topic is. So, Britton, you relayed us a story right. earlier. Yeah, so uh, uh, when I was in Orlando, uh, I was talking to some guys. We, we would have conversations not unlike this uh, and just talk about wild ideas and it came up in conversation. Uh, I said something about evil people, and uh, my friend Genezareth said, I don't think there's a such thing as an evil person. And that really challenged me. I, I, it was something that I think I, I took for granted. I'm like, of course there's evil people out there, but just thinking like that, I'm like, that, that really, you know, maybe it's just evil behaviors um, that people are constantly engaged in, participating in. Um, but I don't know, still, I, I've been thinking, I've been mulling that over for years, and I still haven't really, like, you know, gotten what, an answer to what's it. What's evil? So, I, I guess that's, you know, something you really need to define. Yeah. And, um, uh, yeah, does that help answer that question? Is, uh, you know, what, what actually is evil? I think from the uh, voluntary's perspective, you know, the initiation of force is probably the penultimate evil right there. But, uh, Just at the simple initiation. So, are you what you do? Yeah, I think that's definitely. Or have it. done? Yeah, that's another question. Right. Because I think 
um, many of us have at, around this table or around this fire have. There's a table on the other side of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. Uh, a really nice table. <laughs> Wish you could see it. <laughs> but you can't. No, but uh, around, uh, many of us around this fire have, you know, initiated force or fraud against people in the past. So are we evil? Yeah, but does that make us uh, evil? I always say if we are constantly defined by the mistakes we made in our life, then why would you, we choose to do a different way? Why would we choose to take a different path? That's a good point, too. Because if you're constantly going to be looking at every mistake you've made and judged on that, what the fuck am I going to change? You're always going to look at me like that. What does it have to do with yeah. evil, though? You know, it's really, well, it's just it's, that person's perception of what you've done. Their well, definition it's really of a perception it. of what evil is. Right, and that's what yeah. evil is, is the perception. I mean, there's yeah. obviously definition in their variables to what's considered truly evil and maybe less evil, but... Mm-hmm. And you're very of yourself, evil. too, because you're just saying, you know, am I defined by my mistakes or am I defined by... Your mistakes some, some mean your else. actions right. that obviously yeah. resulted in something that wasn't... Kind or effective or productive or whatever it may be. So again, it's, I think it's just the the impulse where I was just like, you know, there there are evil people, you know, they're they're out there, and, and the big challenge was like, no, uh, there's no such thing as an evil person. Um, evil actions. But yeah, evil actions, evil behaviors, and, and maybe there are people that are constantly engaged in that. That's their their it's a. Um, feedback cycle for them, but uh, it doesn't necessarily make them evil, or does it? I don't know. In in a similar vein, is there such a thing as a good person? Good deeds. Is there such thing? I think it's like the, (laughs) how often they are that. Like how often they are evil, or how often they are good. But your Would, determination of that is different than my You're determination right, of because that. it's all, so, you're right, I totally I, agree. Somebody could do one you're thing right, to me, and I'm like, right. it's my whole role. They could do ten yeah, things, and right. it's not enough. Right. Is that so, a false yeah. dichotomy, good and evil? Mm. Yeah, That's why good, is. there is it no is. good, and there is no bad, yeah. there is no right, and there is Judgment no wrong. is... Then, then what's to say that, you know, the people who are, in, you know, usurping people's liberties and lives, that they should cease and dismiss such behavior? Because if there is no bad, or there is no wrong, there is no evil, then who's to say that they don't have, that that's not something that they should not be able to do? Well, but if they're harming somebody, then it, then they, that so would be are you something you wouldn't want. Are, are you defining harming somebody as, as wrong then? Violating somebody. Because if, if that's yes. wrong, then there is right and wrong. I think initiation of force is wrong. Yes, I do. In in my world, it's not respectful. It's, it's not, not kind. It's not kind. It's not loving. Your your tragic expression of needs. I don't know about that, but it's just yes. not right. Thank it's you, Marcia. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it. Let's take right. it to <laughs> another down another avenue, right? So whether you agree with it or not, or believe in it or not, there are people who just like some worship uh, your common Abrahamic religions as an example uh, and they may be pious and have good intent Um, there are also on the inverse people who worship the opposite of the deity of those Abrahamic religions with the intent to harness that energy, so to speak, and use it for what would universally be considered bad ends, right? That is, yeah. that is murder, rape, assault, theft, yeah. for personal gain. Yeah. Right, so uh, do what they call themselves evil. I don't know. Is that evil, right? So I'm just saying that certainly there are people who are doing what you know, worshiping the dark side of things, so the the destructive forces of, of nature, so to speak. Is that evil? I don't know. Maybe I'm not well, naive, but I think everybody at some core level, we know, you know, molestation, adultery, whatever you want to call it, just ruining somebody's property, you know at a core level that's just not 
a kind thing to do. There's, there's just something that's just not productive about that whatsoever. So I think even those folks that are changing and, and believe in that dichotomy, dichotomy whatever dichotomy, you call it, yeah. dichotomy, they innately know that on some level. I do, I think that, really. Maybe I'm just giving them credit for that, but... And even, even like a, a psychopath false. or sociopath or uh, a nihilist, you know, they, they would still they know moments, that that's wrong? I think they have moments of clarity. Yeah, I think they do, but not maybe somebody to that extreme, no. No. So does an evil person have to know that they're evil, or can they just be psychotic and not... Maybe you get so wrapped up and you don't realize the difference. I don't know. I don't... I mean, what is evil? What's Is there a definition of evil? I think is there's there? a good definition of evil. I came across it in a evil, like, or perceptions of evil. Um, it's called the devil. Perceptions of evil from antiquity uh, to primitive Christianity. And in that book, the guy spells out that, you know, evil is the conscious intentful, willful act to bring suffering to an, a sentient being. Bring what? S suffering. Oh, bring suffering. Oh, bring To a suffering. sentient being. Oh, okay. And there are varying degrees of evil, right? Because, oh. like, there'll be a spider that I'll, like, wash down a drain because I don't want him Is he around. sentient, though? The spider's not sentient, though. He perceives the world to kind a degree. To a degree, a very limited degree, but He yeah. knows to run from that flame. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he knows pain. He knows fear. Okay, right, right, because right. He, okay, you know, yeah, avoids. Right. Unless yeah. we can talk to somebody who's been a spider, we'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, we'll never know unless we can talk to I don't know if I've been a spider. We, we can before. observe <laughs> spiders' Maybe. behaviors and, and, and uh, you know, reason to a degree. Anyway, that they moving have. on. Is, is it possible <laughs> that spiders have been trying to talk to us this whole time and we just haven't gotten it? It's always yeah. possible. <laughs> they always talk to me, man. <laughs> I don't know, since day one, guys. <laughs> Spider whisper. <laughs> it's uh, not that I want to buy you, I'm just hanging out in the shower, okay? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm in there, just like the shower, it's warm. <laughs> I good. swear if he's in my shower, he's down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Sorry, but um, No, but if, that, if, that, if that's the definition, couldn't self-defense be wrapped up in that too well but you're defending your life i mean yeah that's the difference between violate violence and like returning force and initiating force that violates the equal liberty of another person i.e violence and you're not even seeking to create suffering for that individual you're just trying to prevent your suffering that's a good point you know yeah. okay so seeking seeking suffering in another person Seeking. Yeah, like, like so, I have to but, actually but still, be But still, we're wanting. talking about the action being evil, not the person, right? Um, well, oh, so, so in that same book, the guy, he mentions how, you know, because there are varying degrees of evil, of course, like the boondock saints teaches us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like the what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We bid you not cross into, you know, our domain. Um, <laughs> so he talks about how we have to approach evil or think about evil not categorically like absolute evil right because evil is relative so but rather in terms of our experiences of evil like we all he, he, he you know he makes a very clear point in in terms of we all experience evil done directly to us just immediately like when someone rips us off or violates our things or you know us or whatever then we perceive that immediately as an evil act as happening and so that's how we have to approach it and, and we and we can um broaden that immediate experience of understanding you know the nature of evil through by the means of uh empathizing with one another mm -hmm. and each other's sufferings um but yeah evil exists absolutely absolutely evil exists but it doesn't exist absolutely yeah. <laughs> nice paradox i know right <laughs> So is, is the action evil or is the intent evil? I, I, th I think you were kind of... Um, well, the action is evil because the intent is evil. Sometimes there isn't intention with the action. Sometimes there oh, isn't. Okay, Somebody can be, be yeah, right. well, that, can unconsciously be. Right. Just the pattern. Yeah. We could unconscious. You're so, unconscious uh, about. Just repetitive. There's, that's true. And to be honest, I think... There's something more scary about conscious evil than and unconscious yes. evil. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and, what's the, uh, and what about the the uh, the goal behind the intention? Like, 
You know what I'm trying to say? So is it just a basic they, need that's think, needing to be met, and they don't have the courage or the ability to express it, so the action that's played out is is evil, as opposed to being able to communicate right. what they're really needing. See, so I don't would think you deem anybody... It as evil, or would you deem it as just not knowing any better? How would you that's deem? ignorance, right? And, and Socrates says that that's... Evil, basically. E bad. What bad is... is oh, Pluto said it was evil. But how can you blame somebody for something they Pluto really don't know Plato. that they're doing? Pluto. Well... <laughs> not the dog, dog, man. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's not like... It's that not dog like is smarter than you think. <laughs> 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 I mean, evil defined here is like everybody. I mean, because I think uh, most people um, create suffering in other people. Like, yeah. in not knowing, like, and even knowingly, it's like, sure. you we know, suffering within yeah, ourselves. Well, exactly. Mm -hmm. We create mm -hmm. suffering within ourselves. I mean, wow, this just yeah. like opened my world to evil. I thought it was way more calculated mm. than just the idea of creating suffering in somebody else. So if that's, you know? if it comes from a place of nescience where you, you just don't know, um, what's going on it's, it's unconscious and, and and you did bring it about but um but then you bring out you know, the ignorance if it's willful ignorance like you know i really don't want to know i don't want to become conscious of, of my actions is that the actual uh evil act that's a good question and what I, I about would, people who have that is an evil act who have been fooled into thinking that it's not evil Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, by someone mm -hmm, else, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, or by you know, even you know, twelve oh, years like of schooling war. and yeah, war yeah. and <laughs> I think it's still necessary. a place of nescience, but and um, what's nescience? So not knowing, okay, naivete, different, right? Well, yeah. yeah, I think yeah, it's even to the point like with no reasonable expectation that you should know, right? So the difference between ignorance is. Uh, you're ignorant if you don't know something, but you could know it. Their mm -hmm. information is available, and you could know it. Mm -hmm. And nescient would be someone who's ignorant, but there's no reasonable expectation for them to know, mm. i.e., you're in the Central African Republic, you can't read and write. And yeah, the, infor and the information no, no. isn't available to you, right? Yeah, so you can't. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's Give a, a summary of some dissertation. That's in, gotcha. Interesting. Cool word. I think it was, uh, I'm really glad you mentioned it earlier, Brett. You said intent, and that is very, very important, is what was the person's purpose in doing those actions. Uh, uh, an example of that, I guess, a simple one is, okay, the difference between murder and manslaughter is intent. If you intended to kill them, it's murder. If you do not intend to kill them, it's manslaughter. So that, that's essentially, if there's somebody's on trial for murder, that is almost 90% of the time the argument. Right. I did not intend to do it, you know. Oh, he, but he fell down the stairs onto a knife. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, both of them are evil. I mean, in this, this simplistic yeah. definition, it's, they're yeah. both evil. Because they yeah, cause so, suffering. Well, so intent is, is important. Mm -hmm. But another good way of looking at evil, I think, to try to, you know, broaden our understanding of it is to just think of it as like bad or like not not good <laughs> you know it's not like categorically like absolute evil like as in like a metaphysical evil like devil type embodiment it's just like for instance my wife tells me to bring home milk and I totally have an absent you know slip of absence of mind <laughs> And don't bring it home. Like you, know what that's, you are evil. That's, what that's, that's, that's evil in the sense that it's not as good as had I remembered. It's less yeah, than milk. good. You still you have time. Which would have been. <laughs> <laughs> it's still sealed. It's just you stop by the store, drink some on the way home. It's all good. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Carry on, please. So yeah, like. <laughs> Me forgetting the milk, like that was quote unquote evil because it wasn't as good of having remembered. So evil doesn't have to be this like categorically like imperative thing. It's just so now my wife's so sad that so there's wait. no milk where at home. It, you know? Where did evil come from? That it was like eh, it's the like Bible. Earth. It came like, from the human soul. Evil bastard. But where was it like, first referenced? Yeah, was it like the Bible? Evil right. being uh, this like oh, well, I mean there are works uh, before <laughs> this. Bible, I, the idea, the Bible idea from the Bible, from my understanding, the idea of this. Good versus evil, light versus dark, 
kind of uh, dichotomy okay. started with Zoroastrianism. Yeah, okay. but that was just a re-rising of a civilization and a way of thinking that would far outdated, outdated him. But yeah, that's correct. Uh, that is, as far as I'm aware, too, the, the earliest conceptualization of this dichotomy between good and evil was, was Zoroaster. This is where Nima's two cents would become yeah, useful. Nima, yeah, Nima. 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 <laughs> yeah, Nima. Yeah, shut up. Nima, put it in the, the uh, <laughs> comments. Yeah, comments. Oh, okay. well, all about Zoroaster. Now we need to know. Zoroaster. So there's a concept called Watiko, and Paul oh, Levy, yeah. Paul Levy uh, forged this, this. He wrote the book, I think, called Dispelling Watiko. And Watiko is uh, an American Indian uh, concept of essentially a virus. And uh, the depiction of Watiko is like uh, this kind of uh, demonic figure with a, with a human, a whole human in its belly. And the idea is that it eats you whole and is insatiable. And can grow and jump from one mind to the next to the next till it can grab whole societies, can be po possessed with Watiko. Sounds like democracy. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Most people decide <laughs> nice. But yeah, no, it's an interesting concept uh, that uh, you can essentially defeat Watiko, but you can never be completely immune to it. It can always take you, take hold of you. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so that's, uh, anyway, if, uh, it, it kind of, it, it fit in nicely with what we're talking about and it might be something that, uh, some of us might be interested in exploring. There's, there's two wolves fighting interview. inside you. Yeah. That does sound really interesting, actually. It's a great interview. Um, I actually put it on for yeah, my right? daughter while she was falling asleep the other day and I was like, that's kind of a weird thing for her to fall asleep too, but it's like, <laughs> I'm totally cool with it because, it's a really good interview, and uh, yeah, it's just an interesting take, the Native American. I had never heard about it until before that. So the, 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 the least the way Levy tells it is that it doesn't really exist. Watiko isn't a real thing in so much as it is a concept, and that's where I come in with, say, evil is an interest, is uh, an abstraction, uh, uh, an idea that we can have a conversation around and identifies bad people unfavorable so, unsavory yeah. type uh, yeah. uh, concepts but at yeah. the end of the day just like rights it doesn't really exist well, so let me, really let me let me let me flip this around real quick then does does altruism exist then define altruism well it it would be the Labor the selfless love. giving yeah. to another yeah, it's like self-destruction. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Simone Bale says. So not that, that that's what I, I think. Well, uh, Ayn Rand would say that yeah, it doesn't that, exist. That was the thing. For recovering objectivist over here. I was gonna. Uh, <laughs> it does exist. Well, to be honest, like altruism, kind of not really a thing. It's like it, it's almost like a layer of of smoke that people put up to say that like, look at what a good person I am. You know, that, that it's not that people can't do good things and they don't do wonderful things I, because they want to do wonderful I things. It's not that at all. It's, um, it, it, it's that It's impossible people, to act selflessly. Exactly. Why? That you Why? do have no, but your I own guess, motivations. But, it, but I think people can act in a... Th we have chemicals that react from feeling good about doing something. Of course. Yeah, that's, so that's still a benefit you it's, get. It's not the act of doing it. It's the recognition needed no, for no, the No, no, no. What, like what if you just feel then good? What if you just feel good? Then, then, then you're working for that feeling. Exactly. That's, 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 that's I, not, yeah, there's not saying that that's not a real thing. It's a real thing. So you're still benefiting. Yeah. I but guess. why why does it why does altruism have to mean that there's no benefit to you? Yeah, right. I mean, because that's what the word means. Yeah, At least how Ayn Rand des described it. Yeah, I think yeah. Ayn Rand just okay. Yeah, same <laughs> here. Well, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, again, recovered objectivist. Okay. I will also agree with that statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh huh. Yeah. There's also the, the spectrum of uh, you know you got service to self and service to others. Yeah. And you can't go completely. Um, well, service to others. You can't go 100% because you, you do you'll need to perish. Right? You'll perish. Yeah, you, you, you will just sacrifice yourself. The Buddha almost and starved to death, changed his mind, decided it was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, 
I suppose it's probably possible to get to 100% service to self, and that might be. Um, but that that's kind of hard to to oh. say whether that's it's. Good but that would evil be evil or, because you know. In a free market, that's how you benefit others is by working towards benefiting yourself. But that, from the voluntary perspective, is good. You know, anarcho capitalist, whatever, would say that's good. That's it's the the liberal socialists that are going to say, well, if he's just doing it just for his own self gain, then that's evil. When but see, on a free market, you don't benefit yourself without benefiting others. Exactly. Right. So that's where I think you know this whole self other relationship is a. Yeah, it's like it's polarities that really I think of one you, thing. Yeah, you get t- <laughs> you get tied up on these polarities and you're chasing your tail. You know what I mean? It's yep. like, yeah. It's not a useful tool concept conceptual. We have a good conversation around yeah. it. But at the end of the day, yeah. It, it, if, you know, going back to down, going back yeah, to the yeah, whole. Uh, they're helpful. You know, um, you make them helpful. Uh, tragic expression of unmet needs. All, all you're ever doing is trying to for, fulfill uh, your own psychic needs. Um, and the ones that are harmful to other people are, you know, tragic expressions of those needs. And... And those are evil? If you... No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm saying... I'm well, saying... There's ways... Suffering there's to ways, the there's ways to, to fulfill your needs without harming people. And that's what I think we need to teach people. Hmm. We need to learn and how ourselves. To fulfill those needs and what those needs are and how to fulfill them without harming others. And right. Like, yeah, One others of the things you have to understand first is what your needs are. Right. Which is more uh, complicated than it sounds. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Manly C. Hall has this great quote. It's like, uh, he's talking about like mo- most people don't even know what they want, but the ones who actually know themselves and do know what they want, they may know what they want. But only heaven knows what they need. I don't know. But that's mainly be helpful for you. But <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? That's gonna be so good. Oh well. I, felt, <laughs> I, felt that. That I know. It Amazing really epiphany, was there, but my mind is in too many places. Too many anyway. I, I was thinking about like different <laughs> like <laughs> varying degrees of evil. And all I can come up with my mind is the little like oil blob thing from Fern Gully. That, like, you know, like, that maybe you just want, like, like, a little bit of evil would just be, like, an eyedropper of evil, whereas, like, a whole lot of evil is, like, a bucket full of, like, that little thing from Fern Gully, just, ah, that's really evil in there. Don't go near that, that's evil. Yeah, yeah that's a great concept, or a great visual, you know. Because I think with this definition, at... I think a lot, uh, most people are evil. Because I think people inadvertently well, right. cause most suffering. People, like, all yeah. people, I think, yeah. are both suffering. good and evil. Yeah. Um into varying degrees of both. But I like what Albert Camus, I guess you pronounce his name, said in one work that I heard about once where he says that we really can't judge a person's intention because that belongs to that person and that person's yeah. intention is sentient and singular to that person. And we're just until we can read their minds. But evil unless some people can read their minds. But evil has, you know, has nothing to do well, with intent. Just, it just has hearts, to do with and that speaks to like the real world, like in the legal system. Uh, sorry for going there, but uh, like hate crime and whatnot, judging mm-hmm. intent. You know what I mean, right? It's like you can only judge it in, at least in the physical world. You can only judge the action in reality. Right? Yeah, that's what. And seriously, uh, at, at the, the end of the day, of do the you action. care why yeah, a guy yeah. kicked you in the gut? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All you kind care of. is that your stomach hurts. I kind of care. Like, if I had it coming, then I would be, like, exceptionally be more understanding. But if he just kicks me... Do you ever Yeah, deserve... had it coming? I mean, maybe if I, like, punched him in the face. Yeah, he did maybe I did. But I hear what you're saying. Pain is pain, regardless of why. It's not often I quote the Bible, but Ooh. here, so but here oh. today is the exception. Yeah, Riley's never heard this before. <laughs> um, so, at, at one point or another, I'm, I'm sure Steve could help you out with a specific verse, but at one point or another, doesn't Jesus say, who here has not sinned? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. think about that. Like, yeah. if we're talking about very... Well, he says, he, 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 he has not without sin. Yeah. yeah. But the the thing is but the the, the, the takeaway is who here is 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 a is is pure. Who has never done anything wrong in their life, you know. 
So, and there it is, everybody. I just go to the Bible. Never again. Apparently, yeah, Jesus that never happens big. ever. So, Happiest uh, moment of my life. <laughs> so <laughs> then, why. if if we've never said, are, is, are these robots? Like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Is that sin? <laughs> the, the, the piano <laughs> just hit the factory floor. Okay, so <laughs> robots. <laughs> can a robot sin, sin if it's sentient? Oh my God. I don't know. So, okay. Wait, so, about that what, what, uh, character that they created that's been tweeting? She seems oh, yeah, pretty she evil. Is. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, they killed her after yeah, a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she what died. happened? After a day, they yeah. killed her? They, they created this new AI yeah. that they released out onto the world. She was racist. Uh, yeah. was she was, and and, was and she the way not? they created her, they, they, she, was she was supposed to pick up culture. aspects yeah. of the culture that yeah. she... Yeah, it was so a that she inhibited. So and, and she but see, it. She they went to culture. they went to comment sections. She was the mm -hmm. she was essentially the if the comment section came to life. Yeah. Oh so gosh. she was like was Hitler bad. wasn't <laughs> that bad of a guy. All the worst yeah. parts of humanity. Yeah. 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 Wanted yeah. to have sex one. with everyone. I think her data yeah. set was pretty small. So. <laughs> uh, what was it? Uh, Google. Uh, what's the Google AI thing? That's like a, they yeah. can ask questions too. That's what like a Google. Cool? Cool. Sorry. I don't know. Uh, not Google Brain, Google... Siri is iPhone. Yeah, no, it's just like a... It's a somebody put it in comments, please. Thank you. Um, it, it, it's, it's a website you can go on to. It's like Google's little AI thing. Oh, to yeah. this day, if you put anything about cats into the, the, hey, what's going on today bar that you have for the AI, it freaks out. What? Yeah, don't mention cats. <laughs> cats well, it's because her. like when they first started it up, people were just posting stuff about cats, mm -hmm. and so it's almost like a like a traumatic childhood experience. Oh <laughs> <laughs> that if you mention cats, oh the thing freaks God. out and spews <laughs> out gibberish. Oh it's probably yeah. because the videos on YouTube are dominated by cat videos. Yeah, probably. that's yeah. probably yeah. what it is. Oh yeah. 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 And on that note, <laughs> good, night. good night. Happy four twenty. Happy four twenty.